Okay, so let's start 3.10. But actually, hello, quiet everybody. Stop your uh, conversation if it is not very necessary. And let's listen to 3.11 actually. In 3.11, you have the same conversations, but those conversations continue. In 3.10, you had only two lines. Three point eleven. Tape script three point eleven. Listen. Listen and repeat and understand everything. One. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye. Have a nice day. At about one. Bye. Have a nice day. An easy sentence, right? <clears throat> Thanks. Uh, same to you. Thanks. Same to you. You also have a nice day. Same to you. You also have a nice day. Uh, see you later. See you later. See you later. Right. At about four o'clock? Right. R I G S T. Right. See you later. Right. At about four o'clock? She is asking. When he says, see you later, then uh, she replies, right. At about four o'clock? She's asking or she is saying? Right. At about four o'clock? Well, uh, school doesn't finish till four. Well, uh, school doesn't finish till four. School doesn't finish till four. Hindi? Char baje school? Wrong Hindi. Wrong Hindi. Wrong Hindi. Char baje khatam nahi hota. The school doesn't finish at four o'clock. Okay? Char baje khatam nahi hota then. The school doesn't finish at four o'clock. The sentence is, the school doesn't finish till 4 o'clock. <laughs> Aapne sentence suna tha about uh, Lisa Parsons. I don't go to bed until 3 or 4 in the morning. Do you remember? Now see this sentence. I don't go to bed. The school doesn't finish. I don't go to bed. The school doesn't finish. I don't go to bed until 3 or 4 in the morning. The school doesn't finish till four o'clock. Exactly. Exactly, Apya. When she says Lisa Parsons at the beginning of unit three, the school doesn't finish till four. The school doesn't finish till four. Sorry, um, Lisa Parsons doesn't say this line. Lisa Parsons says, I don't go to bed until 3 or 4 o'clock. What is she saying? That's what she's saying. I don't go to bed until 3 or 4. So he's saying the school doesn't finish till 4. And his school is I don't go to bed until 3 or 4. Saturday. This sentence highlights ki aap der se sone jate hai. I don't go to bed until 3 or 4 o'clock. Similarly, when the woman says, the host family woman says, 
see you about four o'clock? Then he says, no, the school doesn't finish till four. The school to? Listen to the response. Oh, okay. See okay. you about 4.30 then. Oh, okay. See you about 4.30 then. Because he told her that the school finishes at 4 o'clock. He said, I cannot see you at 4 o'clock. We will not meet at 4 o'clock. I will not be home at 4 o'clock because the school doesn't finish till 4. It means the school finishes at 4, right? That's why she says, okay, in that case, I'll see you at 4.30. To come home because the school finishes at 4 o'clock. Okay. Now somebody says to you, the same thing, your mommy, you know, five o'clock, I'll see you at five o'clock. A friend says, I will see you at home at five o'clock. We will say, sorry, I can't see you at five o'clock because my class, English class, doesn't finish until, until five. So, and it takes me about 20 minutes to get home. So I, I'll see you at 5.30 or I'll see you at six o'clock. Okay, understand? So the school doesn't finish till four simply means that the school finishes at four o'clock and I cannot see you at four because of the context. If somebody asks this guy, Hacken, hey Hacken, what time does your school finish? What will he say? My school finishes at four o'clock. That context is different. There is no need to show that it ends late, it finishes late. Because there isn't a problem. Somebody wants to know, what time does your school finish? What time does your school finish? Uh, my school finishes at four o'clock. But because the host family says, see you at four o'clock, then he says, no, the school doesn't finish till four. Matlab char how will I see you at 4? I'll see you at 4.30. Four okay, fine. If somebody asks you, what time does your school finish? You will say, my school finishes, my, sorry, my English class. What time does your English class finish? You will say, my English class finishes at 5. Okay, and then uh, somebody says, Actually, I go to an English class and the class doesn't finish until 5. So I cannot see you at 5. Well, we can meet at 5.30. Okay, like this. Context matters. How you are responding. Both the sentences, my class finishes at 5 o'clock and my class doesn't finish until 5 o'clock. Both of them are telling what time the class finishes. But this sentence, negative sentence with until, adds extra emotion there that perhaps it is too late. It is not convenient. What time do you get up, somebody asks, and you simply want to tell them time. Then you say, I get up at six o'clock. I get up at seven o'clock, okay? But suppose you want to show, if you want to show that feeling, then you'll say, I don't get up until seven. Somebody asks you, what time do you get up? And you respond with, I don't get up until seven. What does it mean? You are saying, you are admitting it, that you get up late. You are admitting it. Suppose there is a village boy and I ask him, what time do you get up? He says, sir, I don't get up until six, sir. So he is saying that he gets up late. It's not late. Because he said, I don't get up until six. If he says, I get up at six o'clock, then I will have no business saying, hey, it's not late. 
Are you getting my point? No, no, you're not getting my point. Let me explain again. Bhai, ke baje uthte ho? Ke baje jata hai uthe me yaar? Chhe to chhe to koi thodi der hai. Bhai, kitne baje uthte ho? Chhe baje uthte hain. Aach, chhe baje. Okay? Kitne baje uthte ho, bhai? Chhe baje jata hai. Chhe baje jata hai. Matlab kuchhi chhe badi der hai. कितने बजे उठते हो छह बजे उठ जाते हैं कितने बजे उठते हो दस बजे उठ जाते हैं दस बजे उठते हो तो सिचुएशन समझते हो ना तो हर एक अलग अलग टोन के लिए आपकी थोड़ी सी इंग्लिश होती है कुछ एक चीज बता रहा है बोलने वाला खुद बोल रहा है कि देर से उठते हैं जिसने कहा दस बजे उठ जाते हैं वो लेट नहीं बोल रहा है वो अपने आप को नहीं बोल रहा है कि हम देर से उठते हैं लेकिन जो बोलता है छह बज जाता है उठने में वो क्या बोल रहा है उसके लिए छह ही बजे लेट है तो कोई बोलता है कितने बजे उठते हो दस बजे उठ जाता है दैट चट्टा इज नॉट एक्सेप्टिंग दैट इट इज लेट लाइट राइट ही इज नॉट शोइंग एनी सच फीलिंग दैट ही गेट्स अप लेट और तो और दिखा रहा है दस बजे उठ जाता है राइट डू अंडरस्टैंड द चेंज इन इमोशन वेन यू से दस बजे उठ जाता है एंड वेन यू से छह बज जाता है यार दोनों में समझ रहे हो ना एक कोड़ी है एंड ही इज नॉट इवन एक्नोलॉजिंग राइट ओके लिटरली कोड़ी मीन समथिंग एल्स अ पर्सन विद लेप्रेसी लेप्रेसी मिर्गी लेप्रेसी इज मिर्गी एंड कुस्ट लेप्रेसी हाँ लेप्रेसी इज कुस्ट ओके एंड मिर्गी epilepsy epilepsy okay okay leprosy epilepsy see kafi confusing words there you know i often mix them up epilepsy that is okay i'm sorry i don't mean to make jokes just letting you know mirgi okay the feet epilepsy epileptic feet epileptic feet mirgi ka daura epileptic feet it's a it's a very difficult experience to see somebody having this I once I was very young I think maybe 18 19 and I saw a man in the street you know having an epileptic feet I got I kind of got scared when I saw his situation other people were quite normal they knew what was going on and 5 minutes later the man was okay but I got really nervous he was you know he has got that uh, you know pain thing on his mouth we call it uh, uh froth he was frothing at his mouth okay so yeah anyways epilepsy and leprosy these are two diseases right leprosy is kusht you know when you have those problems and your body starts to melt you know you might have seen people begging with no fingers what was the problem why did they lose their fingers because of leprosy because of leprosy leprosy is a serious disease you know it is curable but some people just don't go to the doctor on time that's the problem or in time rather okay so i was what where was i i was talking about um you know negative until and direct sentence i get up at 10 i get up at 10 this person is not acknowledging that he gets up late but somebody who says i don't get up until 10 he's also saying he gets up at 10 but he acknowledges that it is late all right and that's why if somebody says to you i don't get up until 5 in the morning then what will you say to them Five is not late. You will react this way because that person is saying, "I don't get up until five. Then your reaction will be, "Five isn't late." Not for you. So imagine for people in big cities, seven o'clock is not late. They get up at seven. They consider it pretty much on time, early, and in villages. Seven is very late. Okay, 
So suppose a villager and a city person, they are talking to each other. And the city person asks, uh, what time do you get up? I don't get up until seven. Seven is late in your opinion? We get up at eight. Okay, like this. Fine, can we move on? So the woman says, um, see, um, at about four o'clock, then he clarifies, no, the school doesn't finish until four. Then the woman says, okay, see you at 4.30 then. If somebody thinks, I don't get up, uh, my school doesn't finish until four, matlab mera school char baje khatam nahi hota hai, to agli line ka koi matlab nahi bane ga. Agar mein kahun, ki mein subah chhe baje nahi uutta hoon, to aap mujhe kahenge ki thik saare chhe baje milte hai? Kaya sakte kabhi? If I tell you, ki mein nao baje dinner nahi karta hoon, to aap bolenge thik hai saare nao baje dinner karli, aisa kuch nahi hai, matlab, mein agar aapko kahun, mera class paanch baje khatam nahi hota hai, by the way, to aap mujhe kahenge saare paanch baje milte hai? कैसे बोलेंगे क्या मतलब इस बात का मुझे कितने बजे खत्म होता है इफ आई टेल यू मेरा क्लास पांच बजे खत्म नहीं होता और आप मुझसे मिलना चाहते हैं आप पूछेंगे तो कितने बजे खत्म होता है सर राइट right? अगर आप नेचुरल सोचोगे इट्स वेरी इजी सो द मैन डिड नॉट से व्हाट इज हिज नेम द गाय हैकन डजंट से मेरा क्लास 4 बजे खत्म नहीं होता है ही सेइंग मेरा क्लास 4 बजे तो खत्म होता है कैसे मिलेंगे 4 बजे दैट्स व्हाई शी इज ओके See you at 4.30 then. Got it? Let's move on to number two. Two. I'm sorry I'm late. The student, Hakan, right? He comes to class late and he apologizes. He apologizes. Ab jab maine kaha, he apologizes. So kya hoga apologize? Past the part of the speech, batao. Apologize. जो भी ग्रामर पढ़ा है जो भी थोड़ा बहुत जाना है इससे बताइए ही अपॉलोजाइज तो सुन के अपॉलोजाइज के बारे में क्या जानकारी मिलती है इट इज अ वर्ब क्योंकि ही के बाद क्या पड़ता है और एस भी है ही अपॉलोजाइज नेगेटिव क्या बोलेंगे ही ही कल ही मैंने माइंड मेकअप कर लिया था कि आफिया और अशफी के भाई अगर मुझसे फिर पूछेंगे कैसा कर रही है दोनों बहने मेरी तो हम कहेंगे बहुत अच्छा कर रही हैं क्लास में सबसे अच्छे स्टूडेंट्स में से हो गई हैं अभी आपने वो हटा दिया मेरा माइंड चेंज कर दिया विद दिस आंसर हां अशफी इज नॉट डूइंग ओके सॉरी उसने कैसे कहा ही इज एंट अपॉलोजाइज क्या बोलना चाहिए था एस हटाओ डजंट लगाओ नेगेटिव व्हाट आर सिंपल फार्मूला एंड यू सेड ही इज एंट अपॉलोजाइज तो आई विल ओनली नेम आफिया दैट शी इज डूइंग ओके नॉट यू ओके फाइन Uh, you are doing better than okay because every time I'm up yesterday as well, you were answering questions from there. Who was answering? You were answering, not you. Okay, abhi do, pata chalta hai. Okay, let's see. So, the what was the sentence? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm late. When you come to class late, you apologize to the teacher. Apologize means to say sorry. You say sorry. It's normal. In English, we say, I'm sorry a lot of times. I am sorry. When you say, I am sorry, what is the part of a speech of sorry? Is it a verb? Yes or no? <laughs> Easy answer. No, because you cannot say, I am go, I am eat. So, I am sorry is not a verb. What is, I am sorry? What is sorry? It's an adjective. It describes I. Agar noun hota, to hota I am a sorry. Just a teacher noun hai. Ab kya bolte ho? I am. Agar, agar sorry noun hota bita, to I am a sorry bolte. Fir se sun. Hum teacher hai. Teacher is a noun. Tum kaise bolte hai? I am a teacher. Nikita ek wife hai. Oh, kaise bolengi? I am a wife. Wife is a noun. Woman hai, kaise bolengi? I am a woman. Oh, ma bhi hai, kaise bolengi? I am a mother. Okay. So she will say all these things. Woman, mother, student bhi hai. She will say I am a student. So noun jab bolte hai, to kaise bolte hai? Can you see that? So sorry is not a 
बिकॉज अगर वो सॉरी नाउन होता तो क्या सेंटेंस होता आई एम ए सॉरी बट सॉरी इज एन एडजेक्टिव आई एम हैप्पी आई एम सैड आई एम सॉरी Happy shows about something about me. I'm happy. I am sad, and I am sorry. क्या मतलब क्या हुआ? I am sorry बोलने का. I am sorry मतलब. कैसे हो गया मुझे माफ कर दो. पागल वाली बात. ये उसका literal meaning नहीं हुआ. Literal meaning बताइए. हाँ मैं बताता हूँ. I realize that I have done something. wrong i accept that i am wrong i accept that i am i am sorry means i accept that i have done something wrong i accept that i am wrong i accept that i made a mistake i am sorry two students have a fight okay let's say uh, shlok and rudra have a fight okay with each other and uh, the matter comes to me I realized that uh, it was uh, started by Rudra. Shlok only reacted. Yes, it was wrong on his part to react, but he reacted. He started it. Then uh, I will, after the discussion, I will ask Rudra. Rudra, you realize that you started this whole thing. Are you sorry about it? Are you? Are you sorry? Are you sorry? Yes, sir. I am sorry. Means what? Yes, sir. I realize. No, I'm not sorry. Rudra says, "No, I'm not sorry." Means he is not accepting his mistake. He's not saying I was wrong. He's saying, "No, I'm not sorry." Have you ever said I'm not sorry? You have only said I am, because nobody ever asked you, "Are you sorry?" But these are English sentences. When you understand the word "sorry," then you start using the words the right way. You have only, as a parrot, you said, "I am sorry, I am sorry." Ha, बहुत ज़्यादा ज़्यादा हो जाता है। I'm extremely sorry. कुछ लोग extremely word इसमें डाल के मैं ना यहाँ के लोगों के सोच को अच्छे से जानता हूँ। वो extremely sorry इसलिए नहीं बोलते, वो ज़्यादा शर्मिंदा है। वो इसलिए extremely बोलते हैं, उनको अच्छा लगता है extremely बोलना। वो शब्द को उसके meaning के लिए नहीं use करते, मनमर्जी से use करते छोटे सी बात पे आई एम एक्सट्रीमली सॉरी ठीक है जहां खाली फॉर्मेलिटी करना था क्या भैया वाई आर यू एक्सट्रीमली सॉरी ना ना वो एक्सट्रीमली वर्ड यूज करते हैं मुझे पता है कुछ लोग हैं उनको एक्सट्रीमली बहुत अच्छा लगता है बोलने में बिकॉज नॉट मेनी पीपल यूज इट दे फील दे आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अदर पीपल बिकॉज दे आर यूजिंग एक्सट्रीमली आई नो देर थिंकिंग दिस थिंकिंग विल नॉट अलाउ दम टू लर्न As long as it is just for motivation, then fine. But some people, you know, वो बहुत आगे ले जाते हैं इस सोच को। भाई यार मेरे को अलग रहना है सबसे, अलग इंग्लिश बोल। कभी नहीं अच्छा बोलेंगे। Because they want to speak different. जो सब बोल रहे हैं वो बोलना ही नहीं उनको। और इंग्लिश तो एक लैंग्वेज है, सब बोल रहे हैं। सब मतलब there are lots of people who speak correct English, right? Yeah. So guys, uh, sorry is an adjective. Um, your sister had an argument. With uh, your mother, and you are doing the mediation. Okay, <laughs> it happens sometimes in the house. Yeah, you have to play the judge. So you come and talk to your sister, and then uh, you go to your mom and you say, "She is sorry. Now forgive her. She is." आपने कभी बोला she is sorry? आपने हमेशा क्या बोला? पता नहीं कहे इतना sorry हो तुम यार All your life, you only you have been sorry, huh? <laughs> so you can say to your mother, she is sorry. my, you know, your daughter is sorry now. Forgive her. आपकी बेटी मान रही है गलती हुई उसने. खत्म करो बात. Then the mother says, ask her to come and say to me, ask her and come and say to me that she is sorry. But then your sister says, no, I'm not going to say sorry. <laughs> Ego issue. <laughs> okay, fine. So move on to uh, I am sorry I'm late formality because the student is late he is doing the formality I'm sorry sir I'm late okay the traffic's very bad this morning and he explains he yeah. explains the reason he explains the yeah. why he is late he explains the reason why he is late he says sorry I'm late the traffic is very bad this morning so the reason is 
Another student, sorry, sir, I'm late. Mummy did not make breakfast on time, sir. Mummy made breakfast late, sir. Right? Sorry, sir, I'm late. The bathroom was occupied, sir. Bathroom was not free. Right? There are thousands of reasons. I'm a teacher. I've heard all sorts of excuses from students for not doing homework, for not coming to class, for coming to class late. Oh, my God. All kinds of excuses. One boy said, Sir, uh, na late aay, sir, we are sorry. Ka, Why are you late? Uh, sir, aage do ladki log chal rahi thi, sir. Ka, oh, matlab, aage do ladki chal rahi thi, sir. Tumhare late honne kya matlab? Sir, bahut dheere chal rahi thi, sir. Chalo, koi baat nahi, nahi samaj mein hai, All right. Next, next, next. Never mind. Never mind. कोई नहीं कभी नहीं दिमाग never mind never mind मतलब कोई बात नहीं कैसे तुम लोग इतना सानी से बोलते हो never mind मतलब कभी नहीं बोल पढ़े हो कोई dictionary dictionary में फिर भी इतना सानी से बोलते हो पता है it's just the perfect situation and this is the only phrase we use in this tone never mind कोई बात नहीं right so it just occurs to you हालांकि words को देखो तो never and mind इसमें कोई बात नहीं जैसी कोई बात नहीं है <laughs> कोई बात नहीं जैसी? <laughs> but still you guys understand never mind means i have never seen any student getting confused yes some people do ask never mind never mind means so suppose your friend asked you um, adnan i need 10 rupees i need to buy a pencil okay and adnan says sorry bhai i don't have money i don't have any money then that friend says never mind i'll ask somebody else Okay, never mind. Never mind, come and sit down. The teacher is friendly, easy going. And he did not say, you always make this excuse. You're always late. He's not shouting. He says, never mind, come and sit down. Some teachers say, okay, you're late, you stand there. No excuse, stand there, right? Stand at the door. Okay, but this teacher is easy going. He is very easy going. He says, come, come, sit down, no problems. Come and sit down. Thank I am not very easy going. Don't, don't take me for granted. Huh? I will punish you. <laughs> I'm not very easy going. Uh, actually, I have some bad experiences in my class when I'm easy going. You know, people take me for granted when I'm easy going. Because if students are sensible and responsible, then the teacher can afford to be easy going. But if the students force the teacher to play the jailer's role, then you can't afford to be easy going. If a jailer is easy going, then there will be a problem. Jailers can't afford to be easy going. They are the jailers. They are dealing with people who have committed crime and maybe their mind thinks in a negative way. If the jailer is rather easy going, then the prisoners will run away one day. They'll say, let me give you a massage jailer sahab. Where is your pan? And he will take the keys. And yeah, if the jailer is easy going, yeah, yeah, my pants are there. Okay. So you can't afford to be easy going when the students do not take responsibility. If you guys are responsible, I'm really easy going. I like leaving my students free in the class. Explore your mind, explore, you know, the language the right way. I don't like controlling, but sometimes, you know, it's yeah. difficult to be easy going. Okay, next. Thanks. We're on page 28. Come and sit down. We are on page 28. We are on page 28. Now the teacher is telling the student, we are on page 28. Natural. So this is a natural progression of the conversation. We had our, earlier, we had two lines in 3.10. Uh, never mind, come and sit down. Now the, the teacher says, we are on page 28. And the student will Three. say, thank you very much. What's the matter, Hakan? What's the matter, Hakan? Who is saying this? The teacher. What's the matter, Hakan? What's the matter? Whenever you see somebody in a negative mood, silent, quiet, sad, then you ask this question. What's the matter? If somebody is very happy, you don't say, what's the matter? Because normally what's the matter means what's wrong. If somebody is very happy, will you say what's wrong? 
Will you say that? No. So what's the matter means what's wrong? Okay. What's the matter with you? What's wrong with you? Suppose somebody is behaving Ill illogically. Somebody is behaving strangely. Then you get a little annoyed. Say, what's the matter with you? What does that mean? Something wrong. Okay. What's the matter with you? Do you have a problem? Do you have a problem? The teacher asks. Now the students reply. Yes, I don't. I mean, Hacken replies. I don't understand this exercise. I don't understand this exercise. I don't understand this exercise. All right. Ah, seriously. Okay. Somebody did not sleep very well last night. Huh? Somebody did not sleep very well last night. What time did you go to bed? 11. Bitter. This is not okay. Effect of the lockdown, dear students. Little girls are going to bed at? Yeah. It is too late. Very, very late. No, bitter. If you go to bed at 11, this is what will happen. You're too young to go to bed at 11. When I was 10 years old, 9, 9.30 was the latest. And we woke up at uh, 5, 5.30, 6 in the morning. We slept well. You're not sleeping enough, Bitta. According to a study, a lot of people, I uh, mean, majority of the world's population are not sleeping well. They're not sleeping well. They're not sleeping enough. Quality of sleep is another problem. So, beta, please sleep enough. Make a routine that you have to be in bed by 9.30, 9.45. Because you need 10 minutes, 15 minutes to sleep as well. You can't go to bed and sleep, right? It takes 10, 15 minutes. Sometimes half an hour. I, it takes me almost one hour to go to sleep. You know, it, as you get older, it's difficult to go to sleep when you hit the bed. Young people hit the bed and fall asleep. My wife is so lucky. She goes to bed five minutes later, totally asleep, deep asleep. I and my daughter both feel very jealous of her because all of us go to bed at the same time. But five minutes later, my wife is totally deep asleep, okay? And I and my daughter, we are still looking at the ceiling. Then we have a little conversation. And then we say, okay, okay, let's sleep, let's sleep, let's try to sleep. And then I play BBC, you know, so that we can fall asleep. BBC is our lori. <laughs> you know, you listen to lullabies, lori, lullabies, okay? You listen to them in your childhood. For us, our lori is BBC news. We play and we listen to the boring news and we fall asleep. Thankfully, the app, the app allows us to decide uh you know to turn off the you know yeah um, you know you can set the time like for 30 minutes for 20 minutes you want to play the uh, app you want to listen to the news or whatever and it automatically turns off uh, yeah sometimes i go on uh, spotify okay like the night before i the night before last night you know i went to bed playing spotify spotify doesn't have that option i think you know it has i don't know i didn't know so it was going on and on and in the middle of the night about three o'clock, I woke up because of the noise, you know, because it was right next to my pillow. It disturbs me, you know, when I some, some days leave my mobile playing anything. Okay. Do you fall asleep very, very easily or it takes you time, a lot of time? Very easily. Oh, lucky you guys. You're healthy, huh? You oh, just open the books. <laughs> that works with my wife, not with me. My wife, I don't know what kind of a smell comes from the books. It is some sort of drug or what. She'll open the book within five minutes. She can't read for long. <laughs> okay. I have spent whole night reading a book, reading novels, whole night. Sometimes I had classes next morning and still couldn't leave the book because it was very interesting. 
I used to read fiction earlier. Yeah. Can we continue? So what was the last sentence? What's the matter, Hacken? Do you have a problem? Yes, teacher. I don't understand this exercise. Don't worry. I'll help you with it. Don't worry. I'll help you with it. I'll help you with it. I'll help you with it. Uh, I have Peter. If you want, you can go out and wash your face. It will make you feel a little better. Okay? More awake. If you want. Okay? If you are comfortable, it's okay. But try and sit with the, your back against the back of the chair. Relax. Yeah. And if you fall asleep like this, that's okay. No problem. They're small kids. Okay? But better try and sleep early at night. Okay? This is too late. 11 o'clock is too late. What time did you go to bed? You went to bed earlier last night, earlier than her. Why was she awake so late? Oh my goodness, kids. You have you were doing homework so late at night. No, no, you need to change your routine. You can't be up doing homework at 10:30 at 11. No, you're not that grown up. You're only 10. You should finish your homework before 7 or 8 o'clock. No, this is not fair. What time do you come, come back from school? This is why I don't, I've never pressurized you for homework here. And I never asked them whether they did their homework or not, okay? Because I understand they're already under a lot of pressure from school homework and all, okay? So what time do you come back? 2 o'clock. 1.30. You have only two hours before you come here. What do you do in these two hours? Have your meals, watch a little bit TV? And do you do your homework? So you have another tuition at home. Somebody comes to teach you. What subjects? Then why do you go to school? John Loge, kya? Look at these kids, they go to school. And they have a tutor. Intelligent girls like them need tuition. Tuition is for weak students if they're going to school. Intelligent girls, like if you guys really need tuition, stop going to school then. One of the two, why both? This is the problem. They're not enjoying life. School homework, tuition homework. I will never give you homework, don't worry. My goodness, if I were their dad, I would stop one of the two things. No, I can't really. They're too young. This is not okay. I'll talk to your papa. What do you mean? Thank you. Okay, so, yeah. No, I don't like this. The tuition gives you homework. The tuition teacher gives you homework. The school gives you homework. You study the same things in school and then in tuition. Why? In one class, you don't understand that? I don't really believe that. You guys are clever people. If I'm teaching you maths, I don't think you need to study the same thing again. I'm sorry, really not, not okay. Too much of burden. Okay. Let's see. The next sentence. What was the last line? What was the last line? I'll help you with it. Don't worry. Dekho dosto, aap bhool jate. Main sirf aapki memory check karne ke liye poochta hoon bar bar. What was the last line? Where did you remember the conversation was going on? The student was in trouble. 
So he asked the teacher for help. The teacher offered help. He said, don't worry. I'll help you with it. Oh, thank you very much. Ah, thank you very much. Natural reaction from the student. Four. I'll help you with it. I'll help you. Koi nahi bolega India mein? Kya bolega sab? I will help you. Aage soch ke batao kya bolega? Kyunki tum kya bolte ho Hindi mein? If you were the teacher, to aap Hindi mein kya bolte? Thik hai, hum madad karenge. English mein kya bolte? I will help you. With it bolte? Kya bolte? एक प्रॉब्लम है आप लोगों के साथ आप इमेजिनेशन यूज करो अपना आप हिंदी बोलते हम मदद करेंगे इसमें जो एक्सरसाइज है आप बोलते एक्सरसाइज तीन में मदद करिए हम बोलते एक्सरसाइज तीन में हम मदद कर देंगे आई विल हेल्प यू इन एक्सरसाइज थ्री सब लोग क्या बोल जाएंगे ये आपको खुद ही एहसास नहीं कि आप क्या गलती करने वाले हो जबकि आप करोगे ही फिर भी आप अभी नहीं सोच रहे हो क्योंकि आपने विद सुन लिया अगर आपको छोड़ दिया जाता तो आप इन बोलते क्या बोलते हैं I will help you in it. लेकिन आपको क्या बोलना चाहिए I will help you with it, not in it. I will help you with it. Can I open the window? 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 Oh, the curtains. Oh, okay. Hmm. I'll help you with it. It's really warm in here. Okay, can I open the window? It's really warm in here. The student's English is not perfect. He used the word warm instead of hot. When you don't like the temperature, it is hot, not warm. Okay, it's hot in here. Can I open the window? It's hot in here. It's hot in here. Sure, good idea. Good idea. Yeah, sure, good idea. It is hot in here, isn't it? It is hot in here, isn't it? It is hot in here. Practice kya? It is. I said that you practice this line. It is hot in here, isn't it? Repeat. Isn't it? It is hot in here, isn't it? Okay. Just say any obvious thing, which I feel is right. It's hot in here, isn't it? Okay. क्यूट तो है नहीं क्यूट तो है है ना तो कैसे बोलेंगे इनाया इज क्यूट इज ठीक है तो जब आप किसी बात को हाँ इज को एम्फेसाइज करना है इज को एम्फेसाइज क्यों करते सुनो आई विल शो यू वीडियो इज वेल अबाउट इट बट लेटर राइट ना आई वुड लाइक टू गिव एन एग्जाम्पल सपोज I said, uh, Inaya is cute. All right, Inaya is cute. One person said, no, she's not cute. She's beautiful, but she's not cute. Then you agree with me. The third person says, she is cute. What She is cute. You disagree with her. There are three people. I said, Inaya is cute. The other said, oh, she isn't cute. She is beautiful. She isn't cute. Tisra and son? Yes, sir. She is cute. Hindi mein socho. Inaya cute hai. Cute nahi hai, sundar hai. Ah, cute to hai. Tisra and son. All right? Now, try this again. Inaya is cute. She is more beautiful. Not so cute. She is cute. कैसे बोलेंगे? She is cute. Okay. Uh, ये example अब valid नहीं है. कुछ साल पहले तक valid था. You know, कुछ साल पहले तक ये example valid था. But now it is not valid. A lot of people ask me, are you married? Okay. Until a few years ago, they used to ask me, are you married? I said, I have a 12 year old daughter, 10 year old. Why? Really? Like I said, it's not valid anymore because suddenly in the last four or five years, my age has started showing and I can't believe it. If you watch my, if you see my videos or my photos of 2018 and 19, I will look 10 years younger, if not more. At least 10 years younger than now. 
ऊपर वाले का बुढ़ा हो अब तू ओके राइट सो सपोज किसने का विनेसर इज किसने का विनेसर इज मैरिड यस इज मैरिड इज मैरिड यस ही इज मैरिड यस ही इज मैरिड तो एम्फोसाइज करने के लिए आप इज पे जोर डालते हो हमारी आदत है मैरिड पे जोर डालेंगे ही पे जोर डालेंगे लेकिन जोर कहाँ डालना होता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू आर ग्रेप्स आर फोर्टी रुपीज अकेला ग्रेप्स आर एंड आई से ग्रेप्स आर चीप ग्रेप्स आर चीप तो किसने कहा चीप दे आर फोर्टी रुपीज अ किलो दूसरे ने कहा चीप दे आर फोर्टी रुपीज अ किलो सस्ता है चालीस रुपए किलो है तो तीसरा आज बोला सस्ता सस्ते ना है यार दे आर चीप देन कैसे रिदम गौर करो रिदम दे आर चीप दे आर चीप देन दे आर चीप देन हाँ तो सस्ता तो है दे आर चीप यहाँ पर दे पे जोर नहीं चीप पे जोर नहीं आर पे क्योंकि आप ग्रेप्स आर चीप को एम्फोसाइज कर रहे हैं राइट आपने जब कहा सस्ता तो है तो क्या कहा आपने ग्रेप्स आर चीप को एम्फोसाइज किया ना तो आप ग्रेप्स आर चीप को एम्फोसाइज करने के लिए कहा जोर डालेंगे बी भर पे जोर डालते हैं जब बी भर वाले सेंटेंस को एम्फोसाइज करना दीपक सेज दैट हिज गर्लफ्रेंड इज ब्यूटिफुल श्लोक सेज मैं आई डोंट बिलीव यू देन ही शोज टेक लुक ओके ही शोज अ फोटो यस यार शी इज ब्यूटिफुल यस यार शी इज ब्यूटिफुल इज ही क्या बोला उसने शी इज ब्यूटिफुल हां यार हां 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 सही बोला था तुम शी इज ब्यूटिफुल और इसी सिचुएशन मैंने बताया था शी इज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल इंडीड शी इज तो आप हर चीज जाने और आप जानने से बोलना नहीं शुरू करेंगे बात अच्छे से जान लीजिए इट इज द लिसनिंग बर्तन भरना होगा ठीक है जानना नॉलेज है आई एम शेयरिंग नॉलेज ओके लेकिन बोलने के लिए समथिंग एल्स इज रिक्वायर्ड मैं आपसे इंग्लिश में क्यों बात करता हूँ नॉलेज तो मैं हिंदी में बेहतर दे सकता हूँ आपको समझ जाओगे तुरंत तुरंत मदर टंग है राइट बट नॉलेज इज नॉट इनफ फॉर इनिशियटिंग स्पीच to initiate a speech you need something more than just knowledge and that is exposure to the language so yes if you listen to me remember revise the lessons and also keep listening to the audio files read the you know books that i have given you and uh, if you have extra time and energy left then do other things in english as well whatever that you in, you know find interesting anything in english commentary cricket commentary in english will help no problem cookery show in english will help fashion review in english it will help anything in english whatever helps you whatever you find interesting all right let's move on very thanks a lot that sure good idea it is hot in here isn't it very hot in here isn't it then the student says very because he said isn't it it is very hot in here isn't it the student says very ye ek word bolta hai aap log gaur nahi karte please listen four can i open the window it's really warm in here sure good idea it is hot in here isn't it very very aur kis tarike se ah exactly very good afia beta give it to atif atif give it to uh, dipak dipak hold it Thanks a lot. That's all right. I think. Thanks a lot. Who says thanks a lot? फिर blank हो गया लड़का. फिर वो blank हो गया. तुरंत blank हो जाता है. हर बड़ा करके. The student. कौन बोलेगा thank you? किसको कर मिल गई? Hacken. So Hacken says thank you, sir. Then uh, the teacher says that's all right. कोई बात नहीं. We all need some fresh air. We all air. need some fresh air. We all need some. That's all right. Somebody says thank you to you. Then what can you say? That's all right. ठीक है. There are so many things you can say as a response. There are videos. Okay, some videos go in the detail and explain the meaning of your reactions, your response. And some just tell you you can say this, you can say this. But remember, each response has a meaning. Um, suppose I taught you something, and you said thank you, sir. Also, you're welcome. Enough. 
okay? But when I do somebody's interview and I say, thank you, then they can say, you're welcome. They can also say, my pleasure. Remember that phrase? And now we are listening to, that's all right. That's all right. Thank you, sir, that you allowed me to open the window. Anna, thank you, sir. That's all right. We all need some fresh air. Only you are not going to get fresh air. We will. We all need some. So no need to say. No need to say. No need to say. Thank you. The teacher is saying, no need to say thank you because we all need some fresh air. We open the window, not only for you. We all need some fresh air. No need to say thank you. Purpose samjha karo har baat ka. Okay, purpose. Uh, that's all right. We all need some fresh air. Why are you saying thank you? It's not necessary because you opened the window. It's good for everybody. It's good for everybody. Five. Can you help me? What does bilingual mean? Can you help me? What does bilingual mean? And notice the tone up here, right? When you ask a question, you don't go like a jet fighter jet, quick. You take your time. It is natural. In Hindi, sir, par ye jo likha, iska matlab nahi. Bolte na? Sir, par jo likha, iska matlab nahi. Aise koi bola aaj tak? In English, mein log kya karte? Pahle soch lenge sentence pura. So what does bilingual mean, sir? Q? Because they don't want to speak. They are not confident that they can speak. So they memorize and deliver. Whether you have to say two words or one word or three words, speak. Don't deliver a dialogue like in a movie. That, okay? You speak. Go slow. Speak and feel that you have said something. Feel that you have said something. You should know what you have said. Not the Hindi. English. Feel what you have said. I'm sir, uh, I don't understand. Uh, what does this bilingual mean? Sir, can you help me? Sir, what does uh, bilingual mean, sir? Okay. Now the teacher answers. It means in two languages. It means in two languages. It means in, in two languages. Then the student replies, oh. Oh, right, of course. Oh, right, of course. Ha, ha, samaj ke, samaj ke. Achha, ye line, aisa reaction kyun aara, batao. Aap log aisa nahi reaction karte, oh, yes, I understand. Aisa reaction dene ka matlab kya tha? Aap wo us word ko us context mein bhi samaj raha hai. Jaan likha hai wo. Oh, yeah, right, right. Matlab. अब वो मीनिंग लेकर बैठ नहीं गया है उस मीनिंग को वहां अप्लाई कर रहा है इन टू लैंग्वेजेस ओह यस सपोज यू रीड अ सेंटेंस यू नीड टू बाय सपोज देयर इज अ सेंटेंस रिटन समवेयर दैट यू शुड नॉट जॉइन अ बाइलिंगुअल क्लास इफ यू वांट टू इंप्रूव योर इंग्लिश ओके आप समझ रहे हो सारा कुछ एक्सेप्ट वन वर्ड बाइलिंगुअल यू शुड नॉट जॉइन अ बाइलिंगुअल क्लास इफ यू वांट टू इंप्रूव योर English. If you want to learn English, that's another thing. But improve your English, that's slightly different. All of you, I'm telling you, you're not here just to learn. You're here to improve. You guys already know a lot of English. If you want to learn French, then you want to improve your learn French. Learn But most of you join a class to improve your English. Please understand. It's not that you don't know English. You are maybe making too many mistakes. Maybe you are misusing the word, using them the wrong way, and so many other things. So you are here to improve your English, not just to learn. So the sentence says, if you want to improve your English, don't join a bilingual class. What does bilingual mean you're thinking? And then I say bilingual, it means in two languages. In two languages. <laughs> Don't join a bilingual class. Okay, I understand now. Oh, yes. Don't join a class which is in two languages, in one language. Okay. okay. So, yeah, reaction. Yeah, I understand. 
आप लोग सुन के ऐसे मुंह नीचे कर लेते हैं मतलब कोई रिएक्शन नहीं देते फीडबैक नहीं देते टीचर को दैट यू अंडरस्टैंड वहां देखो किसने रिएक्शन दिया means in two languages oh right oh, of right. course of course of course ha samajh aa gaya sahi hai to hai yahi to hona tha of course sorry yaar hai na ye ye reaction ye reaction kab aayega jab aap sirf sunke accept kar loge aur ya you will process that information jo aaya context mein to aise seekho mere bachcho ye sirf conversation nahi aapko bata rahe ki student kaise seekhte hain Of course, of course. जो मीनिंग बताया मैंने वो फिट हो रहा है हाँ हाँ सही तो है आपके मन में कह रहा है मन में चल रहा है क्या हाँ सही तो है मुंह पे क्या आया You are happy with your monolingual dictionary if you have one, and if you don't have a dictionary, it's all right because today we have a mobile in our pocket all the time, and we have internet twenty four seven. Internet is cheap as well, so dictionary wala's business has gone down. Earlier, everybody who wanted to learn English, first thing they did, they bought a dictionary. I myself bought many dictionaries, six seven dictionaries. advanced learners dictionaries and they helped me a lot i'm talking about 2005 and 6 and 7 when we didn't have what we have today okay google and internet and mobile phones smartphones so of course we needed the physical dictionary but right now online dictionaries are available all the time okay i need to buy a bilingual dictionary he says <laughs> yeah that's a very good idea the teacher says yeah that's a very good idea the whole conversation is going in english the student didn't understand the word bilingual but the teacher did not say anything in the mother tongue of the student he spoke english he understood he made a sentence try to learn this way this is the right way to learn i know it's a bit difficult for some people you'll get there later if not now hmm. six Do you want a macchiato? Pardon? Do you want a macchiato? The woman asked. Right? He didn't understand the word. She said, "Pardon." Pardon is used p a r d o n when you don't hear the person or when you don't understand the person. In both the situations, you can say, "Pardon." It is slightly formal. It is slightly pardon. formal. Pardon. in uh um, if you don't want to use pardon you can say sorry sorry is more common instead of pardon some people say excuse me can you say that again understand when you could not hear when you didn't understand what the person said excuse me sir can you say that again sorry sir can you say that again don't say what what mat bol dena maan lo main kuch bolu aur aap nahi sun paye what aisa nahi karna That's rude. Okay, वो दोस्तों में चलेगा. Somebody said something and he didn't hear. He said what? With friends, that's okay. But a teacher said something you couldn't hear. Then what do you say? Sorry, sir. What did you say, sir? Excuse me, sir. Can you repeat, sir? But don't say what. Because Hindi बोलते क्या सर? है ना? Formality जो है ना वो बदल जाती language में. Hindi में क्या बोलना is not that rude. but in english what is definitely rude i will suggest not to use this okay i'll suggest don't use this uh, what when you don't hear someone or when you don't understand someone then say sorry excuse me pardon and some people sound even more formal they say i beg your pardon <laughs> what do they say i beg your pardon they say such a long line i beg your pardon which means pardon actually the word pardon will do the same job if you don't want to say i beg your pardon you can simply say pardon okay can you say that again can you say that again a macchiato a macchiato do you want a macchiato 
do you want a macchiato? The woman repeated. She realized that he is not from England. So maybe he doesn't understand. If you are talking to a foreigner and you are selling samosa and she is or he is at your shop, then you say, samosa khayega. What did you say, sir? Kya bola apne? Samosa, samosa khayega. Aise karonge na? Because you know he is a foreigner. So you will repeat the word name slowly. Samosa, samosa, samosa khayenge, samosa. Okay. So she says the same, macchiato. Do you want a macchiato? Now listen. Sorry, what is a macchiato? <laughs> He's a foreigner. He doesn't understand. He says, sorry, what is a macchiato? What does macchiato mean? Because the shop Do you want a macchiato? So he said, what does macchiato mean? He said, what is a macchiato? What is a? Now she replied. It's a strong white coffee. It's a strong white coffee. It's a? It's a strong white coffee. Uh, yes. Okay, fine. I... Yes, okay, fine. I will try one. I'll try one. Thank you. I will try one. Thank you. When you go to a new city, new country, will you try different kinds of food? Don't try Chinese food. They will eat, they will feed you bandar, kutta, billi, chamgadar. <laughs> These Chinese people eat everything. How interesting. China, India are neighbors. We are on this side of the Himalaya and they are on the other side of the Himalaya, right? And still, we are so different, not only in terms of looks, size, attitude, beliefs, traditions, so far away, no similarity except one. We both communities, Chinese communities and Indian communities, value our family a lot. You know, we are, our society is family centric not individual centric. American society, European society is individual centric. And I think the reason could be because they were also family centric before the Second World War. You, if you think that the Western societies were always like this, then you're wrong, totally. The Western societies were like Indian societies about 50, 60 years ago. Guys grew up, found a job, got married, again, with the parent's choice. Yes, one thing was common. Falling in love was not considered such a big taboo. Liking a girl was not considered such a taboo. But even after you fell in love, even in those societies, it was not allowed to mix before marriage. No, after marriage, okay? You like somebody, fair enough, no problems. Get married and then anything, you know. They were very traditional until 50, 60 years ago. America, the Europe, European society, you know, countries, uh, the Europe, I said, the European countries, I should, I should have said, they, were, they are all, they were very, very, you know, traditional, but they have changed and they have become, you know, individual centric. Their individuals matter now, not the family so much. I don't know, maybe we will also change in 50, 60 years time because we are also becoming individual centric slowly and slowly. If you see our society is also changing. There are more nuclear families today than ever before. Earlier there were more joint families and now in nuclear families, divorces are also taking place. So we are on the same path. Just we are 50, 60 years behind. Anyways, come back. Seven. Excuse me, is this seat free? Excuse me, is this seat free? Excuse me, is this seat free? The seat was free here. Excuse me, is this seat free? Yes. Excuse me is used when you want somebody's attention. You want somebody's? Why do you say excuse me? You want somebody's attention. Excuse me. 
right? Somebody is not looking at you and you want to talk to them. Then you say, excuse me. How do you spell excuse me? Spelling, please. E X C U S E. Excuse. Excuse me. Okay, when you hear the expression excuse me, then can you tell me the part of a speech of excuse? From the phrase excuse me. If you listen to the phrase, excuse me, tell me the part of the speech of excuse. Is it a guess or you're confident? Is it a guess? Your answer is just a guess or you're confident? You're confident. Okay. Other people? It is a verb. It's easy. Help me. Love me. Like me. Kill me, touch me, beat me, teach me. So, kya hai ye sare? Sare ke sare kya the? So, excuse me, excuse is also. Any ab kya kar nahi kar pate ho? Gor karo? Pattern nahi gor karte ho. Jab bhi main kuch puchta hu, kuch bhi aisa nahi jo apko nahi pata hai. But pata hote bhi nahi pata. I just gave you some more examples that you already knew. Have you not said teach me? Sir, please teach me. Huh? My mother likes me. You like me. Like me. Okay. Sir, hit me today. Sir, beat me today. Sir, scolded me today. So, me comes after a verb, right? So, excuse me. Excuse is a... Okay. Okay. What is the literal meaning of excuse? Master. Excuse me. Mujhe unexcusable. Matlab? Unexcusable. Okay. Eat means eatable. Okay. Drink drinkable use usable okay understand understandable like likable in hindi likable Pasand ke? Pasand karne? Like? Okay, likable. Now, excuse. Maaf karna. Excusable. Unexcusable. This mistake is unexcusable, Ashri. Isn't apologize. That mistake is unexcusable. Nah. It's excusable. <laughs> okay. I hope you understand. Okay. So, excuse is a verb. You say it, you listen to it, but I want to open your mind. You will listen to it outside. Practice it, but we have to open your mind. If you only give us practice, then this class is not going to be a long time, friends. I was sitting here with a student. I was sitting here with a good student who speaks English. And what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? बाते करते एक दूसरे से टॉपिक पे आके बोलते वो आपकी प्रैक्टिस होती हिज ही वुड करेक्ट यू समवेयर हियर देयर थोड़ा थोड़ा ठीक है वो चीज में पैसे क्यों खर्च करना ज्यादा क्योंकि एक्सपर्टीज की जरूरत नहीं है टीचर की तो द क्लास विल बी चीप बट उससे क्या होगा ना यू विल ओनली प्रैक्टिस व्हाट यू नो योर माइंड विल नॉट ओपन द वे आई एम ट्राइंग टू ओपन इट सॉरी जिंदगी भर बोले आज क्या समझ में आया सॉरी के बारे में क्या पता चला Sorry is an adjective. And when you say, I am sorry, you are saying, I realize that it is my mistake. Now you said, excuse me, excuse me. You were saying, excuse is a verb. Bhai, jitne bhi words in English, mein, teen category is the common. Hai. Kaun se? Nouns, verbs, adjectives. Five, there are five more categories. Beta. Pronoun, adverbs, Prepositions, 
कंजंक्शंस एंड इंटरजेक्शंस ये कुल मिला करके ना एडवर्ब दो तरह के होते बेटा एक एडवर्ब विच कम फ्रॉम एडजेक्टिव विच कम फ्रॉम तो वो तो एडजेक्टिव से आ जाएगा इसलिए उसके बारे में बात नहीं करते ये पांचों कैटेगरी को मिला के दो सौ छप्पन वर्ड से ज्यादा नहीं जाएंगे तीन सौ वर्ड से ज्यादा नहीं होंगे इंग्लिश में क्या समझे पांचों कैटेगरी अच्छा इंटरजेक्शन को छोड़ देते हैं कंजंक्शन प्री पोजिशन प्रोनाउंस एंड एडवर्ब एंड प्री पोजिशन पांच कैटेगरी फिर से बोलता हूँ प्रोनाउंस एडवर्ब प्री पोजिशन कंजंक्शन ये इंटरजेक्शन तो छोड़ देते हैं ये चार कैटेगरी मिलाकर ना टोटल वर्ड्स तीन सौ से ज्यादा नहीं है इंग्लिश में कितने थ्री हंड्रेड ओनली तो वो क्या याद कौन सी करनी होती है नाउंस वर्ब्स एडजेक्टिव्स और इन्हीं एडजेक्टिव्स से बन जाएंगे एडवर्ब ब्यूटीफुल शी डांस ब्यूटिफुली ब्यूटिफुल इज एन एडवर्ब शी डांस ब्यूटिफुली ब्यूटिफुल इज एन एडवर्ब ब्यूटिफुल से बना She She smiled happily. She smiled happily. Happy से बना. Happy मतलब आपको पता है खुश. She smiled happily. तो ad adverb जो होते हैं, वो adjective से बनते हैं majority. बाकी जो adverb जो नहीं बनते adjective से together pronouns, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions मिला करके total words जो आपको पूरी English में सीखने हैं they will not cross 300. मैं एग्जैक्ट नंबर नहीं याद कर पा रहा हूँ ये 236 सौ छत्तीस है एक्चुअली दैट्स आई एम सेइंग इट विल नॉट क्रॉस 300 बाकी आपको सीखना है क्या नाउंस वर्ब्स एडजेक्टिव्स दैट इज योर वोकैबलरी और जो फ्रेजेस आएंगे ग्रुप में वर्ड्स आएंगे उनको भी सीखना होगा वो भी काम करेंगे ऐसे ही कुछ ठीक है बेसिकली तो दोस्तों अभी जस्ट लर्न एक्सक्यूज एक्सक्यूज इज अ वर्ब और आपको कैसे पता चला आप हमेशा क्या बोलते हो एक्सक्यूज मी लाइक मी हेल्प मी लव मी बन गया हेट मी माई नेबर हेट मी बन गया हेट इज अ वर्ब ना तो आपको पता है एक्सक्यूज इज ऑल्सो ए वर्ब तो बेसिकली आप सोचते हो कि खाली इंफॉर्मेशन जमा होते जाए नो आई हैव टू ओपन योर माइंड टू अंडरस्टैंड द इंफॉर्मेशन यू हैव जो आपके पास ऑलरेडी इंफॉर्मेशन है उसको कैसे आप एनालाइज करते हो दैट्स माय जॉब ओके लेट्स कंटिन्यू सिट इज डू सिट डाउन इफ यू वांट एक्सक्यूज मी इज दिस सीट फ्री यस इट इज यस दिस सीट इज फ्री दिस सीट के लिए इट यस इट इज यस इट इज मतलब यस इट इज फ्री डू सिट डाउन इफ यू वांट सिट डाउन इफ यू वांट डू सिट डाउन इफ यू वांट What is the difference? Sit down. इसमें बताने का तो जरूरत नहीं है. Sit down if you want. बैठने का मन बैठ दे. Do sit down if you want. When you add the word do, it becomes more polite. Somebody comes to your house, and the person is standing. Then you say, बैठिए ना. That person is still standing. Please, बैठिए ना, बैठिए ना, बैठिए ना. Do you say बैठ जाइए? <laughs> What is the difference? bad jay is not showing respect at all in that context somebody visits your house main aa gaya aapke ghar aur aapki mummy ke bad jay sir kya lag raha hai order de rahi hai aur agar host ban ke request karenge aise kaise bolengi baithiye na sir baithiye na hindi samajh raha hai aapki mother tongue hai to baithiye na aur baith jaiye english mein sit down hi hoga par kya hoga do sit down which is do sit down do sit down kiske jaisa hai baithiye na wo more polite sit down baith jaiye sit down please do sit down please so which is the more polite do sit down please i hope you understand do you think aap log khade ho karke thoda halla karenge to hum bolenge do sit down please बोलेंगे हम आपको नो वे सिट डाउन यू गाइस ओके समटाइम्स इफ यू आर जस्ट सिट 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 फर्स्ट सिट डाउन सिट डाउन प्लीज ओके बट आई विल नॉट से डू सिट डाउन इन द क्लास आई एम अ टीचर आई एम नॉट योर होस्ट 
You're not a guest in my house. If you come to my house, okay, then I will say, just sit down, please. Better now, better. Just sit down, please. I'll sound more polite there because I'm a host. So context is important or not? context that is waste of time. Kinda. Okay. Mm. Well, thanks very much. That thanks very much. Do sit down if you want. But tell you, but not the That's very kind. Very, that's very kind. Thank you very much. That's very that's very kind. Nice expression. Yeah, hey, social expressions. Chapter can I Social. That's very kind. So when somebody helps you, what will you say? That's very kind. When will you say that's very kind? When somebody abuses you? When somebody makes you angry? Irritates you? Suppose your pencil fell. And before you could pick it up, somebody else picked it up for you. What will you say? Oh, thank you. That's very kind. Oh, thank you. That's very kind. That's very kind. Easy? Not at all. Not at all. That's very kind. Thank you. That's very kind. Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. That's all right. Not at all. Are you learning new re responses? Are you a new student? Yeah. Are you a new student? Now the girl is initiating a conversation or rather con continuing the conversation. Are you a new student? No, yeah. Are you a new student? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am a new student. I am. <laughs> Are you having a good time? Are you having a good time? Hindi. Are you having a good time? Feel blank. Ho gaya tum lo? क्या पूछी होगी कि ससुर का नाम क्या है क्या करते हो यार कॉन्टेक्स्ट पता है एक लड़का पूछा बैठ जाए यहां खाली है जगह बोली बैठो ना फिर बोली कि बोला थैंक यू भाई नहीं भाई नहीं बोला बोला थैंक यू तो उसने कहा अरे कोई बात नहीं तुम नए हो क्या यहां कहां नए आर यू हैविंग अ गुड टाइम अब अब इतने के बाद कोई कोई कौन सा लाइन बचा बोलने के लिए नहीं नहीं बोलोगे तो हम जाने नहीं देंगे आज आर यू हैविंग अ गुड टाइम क्या बोला उसने लड़की ने क्या पूछा सेवन एक्सक्यूज मी इज दिस सीट फ्री टेप स्क्रिप्ट थ्री पॉइंट इट्स अ स्ट्रॉन्ग वाइट कॉफी सेवन एक्सक्यूज मी is this seat free? Yes, it is. Do sit down if you want. Oh, thanks very much. That's uh, very kind. Not at all. Are you a new student? Yes, I am. Are you having a good time? Come on, don't don't show me your blank. You know your your mind has frozen here. Come on. Are you having a good time? Kya bol raha hoga? Bol rahi hogi Raj Lakshmi ladki? Aise kaun baat karta hai Hindi mein? Jo aap boli hain? Jo hum log bolte hain wo boli na. Ekdom same situation hoga ki nahi hoga? Ek ladka hai, wo ladki baithi hai class mein, college hai, kuch bhi rakh lijiye. Wahan bol bol hai, baith jaye, khali hai, toh haan baitho na. Thank you, thank you. Aur batao, nahi ho kya yahan? Aap bhi admission liya hai. Haan. Are you having a good time? Yeah. I'm seriously not doing it. I'm not doing it. Are you having a good time? What are you asking? 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 I know 100%. Don't shut up, son. तुम्हें जो जो तुम्हारे मन में आ रहा है वही है क्या बोली वो आर यू हैविंग अ गुड टाइम क्या बोली वो हिंदी में आर यू हैविंग अ गुड टाइम क्या बोली बेटा जो बोल दोगी वही होगा आया तुम भी जो बोलोगे वही होगा क्योंकि तुम लोग गलत बोल ही नहीं सकोगे 
ऐसा पूछती है कोई ऐसा कोई पूछता बेटा नहीं ना जो पूछता वो बता दो आफिया दीदी को आफिया दीदी थोड़ी सी आज थोड़ी सी ड्रग्स लेके आई है ऐसा कोई बोलेगा हाँ और बता बेटा क्या पूछेंगे यहाँ अच्छा चल रहा है सर हाँ बेटा बहुत अच्छा बोला ना मैंने तुम गलत बोल ही नहीं सकती और क्या बोल सकते बेटा यही बात को हम लोग और कैसे पूछते सही है सब ठीक चल रहा है है ना आर यू हैविंग और थोड़ा और अगर नजदीक जाएं शब्दों के तो क्या हो जाएगा मतलब आप सब सही बोल रहे हो गलत नहीं बोल रहे हो मैंने कहा कि आप गलत बोल ही नहीं सकते वो लोग पता नहीं आप या वो क्या प्रेशर आया इसने ऐसा सेंटेंस बोला बेटा आई वॉन्ट टू हियर यू और सुचित आप भी बोल रहे हो बेटा क्या बोल रही होगी दीदी वहां पे उस भैया से आर यू है गुड टाइम अच्छा ये हाँ ये मेरा अरहम देख लो मैंने कहा छोटे बच्चे एक ही डायरेक्शन में ये भी करते हैं इसने कहा आपका आपको यहाँ सब अच्छा लग रहा है यही ना बेटा क्या बोला आपने यहाँ सब आपको अच्छा लग रहा है आर यू हैविंग अ बहुत अच्छा मेरे बच्चे दिस इज एक्टली वॉट यू आर बिकॉज यू आर अ न्यू स्टूडेंट यू आर अ उसने पूछा था ना आर यू न्यूज स्टूडेंट उसने कहा यस आई एम तो उसने कहा आर यू हैविंग अ गुड टाइम आपको यहाँ सब कुछ अच्छा लग रहा है एग्जैक्टली दिस इज वॉट इज दैट and you guys are all blank are you having a acha ek baat bata aapko sab char taraf se latpat thappad pad raha ho to aap are you having a good time char log cha galiyan de rahe ho bura bhala kar rahe ho koi aapka back khinch ke le ja raha are you having a good time are you having a good time no so class mein if you have a good time teacher aapki tareef karte hain acha maza aa raha hota hai to yahi wala phrase hai jo bihari bolte rehte hain मन लग रहा है लेकिन आपके मुंह पे आ ही नहीं रहा है क्या बिहारी क्या बोलते हैं जब कोई पता चलता है नया स्टूडेंट नया स्टूडेंट मन लग रहा है नहीं बोलते तो आप सही थे बेटा आप भी सही थे आप भी सही थे बट ये ज्यादा करीब चले गए हम लोग क्या क्या हुआ मन लग रहा है कैसे बोलेंगे अगर इफ यू आर हैविंग अ गुड टाइम तो आपका मन लग रहा इफ यू आर नॉट हैविंग अ गुड टाइम मन बिकॉज यू आर एन न्यू प्लेस आर यू हैविंग अ गुड टाइम देन गो होम ऑल राइट सो वी विल कंटिन्यू आई विल शेयर थ्री पॉइंट इलेवन डोंट फर्गेट टू राइट द ऑडियो स्क्रिप्ट फॉर थ्री पॉइंट इलेवन ओके ओके हमेशा नेचुरल डिरेक्शन में सोचो कुछ भी नया नहीं है करना बच्चों ने ज्यादा टेंशन नहीं लिया सही जवाब दे दिया क्या लगता है आप लोग को क्या क्यों फंसे आप लोग टाइम का मतलब समय 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 यही रट्टा मारे हुए थे यही यही फंसा है आपको टाइम मीन समय ओके चलो कोई नहीं रटना नहीं बेटा वो क्या बोल रही रटना नहीं है फील फील योर वर्ड्स हम लोग लैंग्वेज सीख रहे हैं रट्टा नहीं मार सकते ओके बोलते मन लग रहा है अच्छा लग रहा है आर यू हैविंग अ गुड टाइम और उसके बाद जवाब सुनना वो बोलेगा इट्स गेटिंग बेटर इट्स गेटिंग अब इसका हिंदी बोलो नहीं बोला उसने कहा उसने इट्स गेटिंग बेटर क्या बोला उसने पहले से ज्यादा मजा आ रहा अब पहले से ज्यादा अच्छा लग रहा अब इट्स गेटिंग हाँ हाँ अच्छा लग रहा है कैसे हो गया इट्स गेटिंग बेटर है सोचो इट्स गेटिंग तो मीनिंग लेना है वर्ड्स का लेकिन रट्टा मार के नहीं जाना मीनिंग तो लेना ही था इट्स गेटिंग बेटर आल सी यू गाइज ओके बाय एवरी टेक केयर एंजॉय लिस्निंग ओके